We're totally Why the alive. fuck does Halloween always get skipped over and Thanksgiving's not even a holiday anymore? Thanksgiving's definitely a holiday, man. I'm confident that Thanksgiving is a holiday and a half. <laughs> Motherfucker, That's they... some Fox News level anti-Christian propaganda you're hearing, my friend. Hey, we're, hey. Let the, we're, we're keeping Thanksgiving. It's hey, a, hey, hey. I enjoy it. Don't be fucking with me, Chris. Don't be laying that Fox News bullshit on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, there's Christmas lights and shit up already over here. I mean, okay, I see. I, so you're saying there's a war on Thanksgiving? We yes, need to there make is. a freaking big bullshit mountain out of it. <laughs> there's a war on Thanksgiving in our heritage. You know, if we can't celebrate the genocide of 12 million Native Americans, what can we do anymore in this? You know, that's a good topic. Can we talk about that? Does anyone in this room feel sorry for the Native Americans? I mean, yeah, but I can't. Uh, like, I, I, I guess you could go back. Let me put, phrase it this way. Of course you feel sorry for them with their smallpox blankets and shit. Pocahontas-looking <laughs> motherfuckers. Too I soon, know man. This. If you could snap your fingers and make Christopher Columbus be a pussy, would you? No. Anybody? No. No, I mean it's it's not like, I mean someone else would have come along and done the same thing. It's not like if no one ever. Absolutely, every throughout history, whenever a more civilized, more civilized, oh that's a hard word, civilized civilization comes into contact with a less civilized civilization, the uh, the the end is inevitable. You saw the Spanish do it, you saw the British do it, throughout the world, somebody was going to come in, fuck the Indians in the ass, and they were going to become America. (laughs) All right. I don't oh. think that's how it works. Man. Yeah, but you no, didn't have exactly to genocide them. Is that I how mean... we gave them the smallpox? Is that how we transmitted it? Uh, hey, sometimes. Hey, sometimes. The, Indians, <laughs> the Native Americans are getting their getting their revenge back. You seen the Western Sky commercials? Eighty six percent interest rates. It, uh, right. I don't think that evens the playing field. No, yeah. yeah, go to go to an Indian reservation now and see all the poverty that's stricken everywhere on salted earth in the fucking plains of Oklahoma. I don't know, man. That's, I've seen the Discovery Channel, and those picker guys go out to those places, and those Indians don't even know they're sitting on millions of dollars worth of shit, you know? Like, one of the picker guys got some statue. They thought it was worthless. Then he ended up making a ton of money off of a poor Indian, again, as a white guy. Yeah, I, 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 but, but my thing is, just back to the the core of the thing is, I always see these groups. I see Native American groups who protest uh, you know, Columbus Day and all that stuff. And any, you know, self-respecting American who goes along with that shit is an asshole. All right, is it, is it, do we, is it okay to feel bad that bad things happen to those people? Of course it is. Bad things did happen to those people. But, honestly, I think it was for the greater good for the planet. And, and maybe some people don't want to see it that way, but let's just say that we left the Indians alone here. They would still pretty much be living like they were living now. Because they had been here for a long time, and they had made it to the point where they had bows, arrows, and fucking rocks, okay? That's about as far as they were going to go. We came in, and now now this country holds the world together, whereas, whether you believe it or not. There's, I watched a cool documentary about that last night, about what would happen if the United States pulled their armed forces away globally. The world falls apart. No, no, the, the debt would actually be fixed. That's in, in their scenario, they had a, uh, a fake politician, I'm doing air quotes, and that was how he sold it before the world collapsed. I mean, there was I – I don't know if I can agree with some of that, well, you know. Merka. Are we actually going to go into the – There fiat? was a fake politician on a fictitious television show. I don't know how you can argue with that. I mean, yeah, absolutely. It's Bill O'Reilly is not a convincing person, you know, that <laughs> I, I don't care what you know he what? says. 